Hello everyone, so um, as you can see this is my real time clock update um, if you have watched the uh, previous videos we have built a real time clock just basic to show the time in just one city um, and the time would be displayed on the LCD as you can see right now so what I've done is I've taken this project a step further two times the first one is by having multiple cities more than one so right now we could call it an international real-time clock and this one is based on the Arduino Nano okay um, it, di it displays more than one country and it displays the si the date as you can see right now in the city where I'm from right now which is Las Cruces New Mexico and it's in the United States okay I'll show you the code what I've done it took extensive amount of coding welcome back so this is the international real-time clock code okay um, on top you have the connections as follow for the LCD first and then next is the real-time clock module if you haven't seen the physical connections you could go back and watch the previous video regarding to the real-time clock project in that project what I've done is just have it to display my local time, which is Las Cruces, New Mexico. For this one, I'm going to be showing you, as you saw in the previous video, um, the different cities. Okay. Worth mentioning that there is three LEDs inside my enclosure, which will turn on the LEDs around 7 p.m. all the way until 12 a.m., which is 24, if you want to say. And then they turn off all night long, if I remember correctly. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So, go back. This is as is. Um, right here, as you know, I initialized my time, my local time. This is my LEDs. Okay, I'm going to skip them. Okay, this one prints the date for my local time again. I truly don't need the date for the other cities. Okay, and here is the real magic. Okay, so right now. Um, first is my LC dot underscore now, which means my time in my city right now, and this is based on 24 military time. Okay, um, and then I initialize UAE underscore now. This is United Arab Emirates. They are ahead of us here in Las Cruces by 10 hours, and then New York NY underscore now. It's ahead of Las Cruces as two hours. Los Angeles is behind us with one hour, okay, and Gaza, Palestine, it's ahead of us nine hours, Qatar as well, it's nine hours. So what I'm going to really emphasize right here in this code is the New York and the Los Angeles. Why? Because the New York is ahead of us two hours and Los Angeles is behind us one hour. So you can have an idea what you're going to do in the two different scenarios when you have a country or a city or a state ahead of you by a couple of hours and behind you by a couple of hours so this is to split my um, my 24 system my 24 hour system which is the military system to uh, 12 um, 12 hour okay so first if it's greater than 12 which means 13 14 etc and I've realized something about this real-time clock module when it's 11 at night which is 23 and it goes to 12 a.m. okay it goes zero it doesn't go 24 so I had that issue previously okay and this is for my LEDs I would skip that okay so this is basically gonna print my time in the afternoon okay and now here LC underscore now when it's zero means it's 12 a.m. set the time as 12 and then say it's a.m. okay else that means it's in the morning okay and that is gonna be basically a.m. alrighty so now comes the New York time situation okay as we said that New York is about is about two hours ahead of us okay which means if Las Cruz is right now it's 23 midnight or 11 midnight when you add two to it it's going to be 24 25th which means it's going to go over to the next day so what you truly really need to do is if it's bound if the time is bounded between 12 
and 24 that means it's in the afternoon then we have an integer here New York PM and just subtract 12 that way you will get a 12 hour system okay and you could name that PM however if it go over 24 which means as I said if it's 23 in Las Cruces it's gonna be 25th in um, New York okay okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract 24 out of that so that means it's gonna be 25 minus 24 it's gonna be 1 o'clock in the morning and as you can see I have it to display AM despite the fact that I have the vice versa um, integers so that is my mistake however I'm c printing the correct time domain if you want to say it's AM okay and then else if if the time is 24 now in this case so if the if the um, time in Las Cruces is 10 o'clock p.m. okay it's gonna add 2 to it uh, which basically uh, so 24 23 22 so it's if it's 22 then you add 2 to it it's gonna be 24 um, and that means it's 12 a.m. okay and we just say hey just tw uh, set the time to be 12 a.m. and print 12 a.m. for me so it won't really have the zero for any other city beside besides my own city or basically the time or the city that you set your real-time clock to okay and then basically else that means if any other time it's gonna be a.m. so no need to worry about these math calculations right here now we're gonna move to Los Angeles now this one is as I said it's minus one so it's in the back okay so behind us by one hour okay so basically we have the same if statement the first one and if it's bounded between 12 and 24 just subtract 12 out of it okay and that is basically gonna be p.m. okay okay so I remembered what I've done here or the reason why I have if the time is less than zero so basically let's assume that the time in Las Cruces is zero which means it's 12 a.m. okay so you and that means Los Angeles is behind us with one hour it should be 11 p.m. okay however one minus I'm sorry zero minus one is gonna be negative one you can't have a time with negative one so what you do is you just say negative one plus twelve is gonna be eleven and that would indicate the p uh, eleven p.m. okay I think that is for one hour only I'm not really sure if there was any other um, need for this else if statement just for one hour when Las Cruces is at twelve a.m or 0 a.m. and now if it's 0 if LA now is 0 that means it's 12 a.m. okay and then else it is the um, a.m. time or in the morning in Los Angeles and then underneath follows the other cities um, that I have listed in my code okay basically you don't really need to go that far so basically this is the two if else concept statements that would allow you to have uh, a city ahead of you and a city behind you in time wise okay I also would like to thank I also would like to throw a special thank you to Intel and its Aggie Innovation Space at New Mexico State University for helping me out to print the 3D housing for this real-time clock um, so special thank you for them um, and as always if you see this video helpful please like share subscribe if you have any questions please leave them in the comment below um, and I'll try to help you out thank you so much and have a good day